Hey y'all. Today I'm going to be making chicken broccoli stir fry. Um, I've got everything out here where you can see it. Hopefully you can see it all. And I've already got, this was a very large chicken breast. I've got oil heating in my pan. Um, extra virgin olive oil. Probably got a couple tablespoons in there. And I've got a large chicken breast, which I've cut up in pretty small pieces. these things. See, pretty small pieces. Not very big at all. I want them to all cook evenly. Uh, I'm going to cook this chicken in the skillet, then move the chicken off into my, my serving dish, and then I'm going to start adding uh, the vegetables. Oh, i got to get a measuring spoon. I'm missing. I guess I don't need a measuring spoon. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I'm going to a little chicken there to see if we're heating it up. Alrighty, we're, we're heating up there. Let's go ahead and get that chicken in. That, hey look, that chicken breast looks really large. It was like two chicken breasts. Oh, well, let that cook a bit. I got that on 375 on my induction. And I'm going to take it down because uh, <coughs> excuse me, down to 350. I feel like that's going to want to stick, so I'm going to leave it. It's sticking, so then when that happens, you leave it until it doesn't stick. And that's how you know it's ready to turn over. It's going to give a nice brown. All right, so I'm going to cook that off. I'm going to get that in my, my pretty uh, serving dish. Um, actually I might right now put in, uh, half a chopped onion. You can see how I've got the chop. You see? Pretty big pieces. It's half a medium uh, onion. I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. But I do want to grab that up a little bit. And see, my chicken is still sticking, and I'm going to have to get a, uh, Spatula. It's, it's all right. It's, start, it's starting to loosen up. It's starting to loosen up. That's good. Don't worry. If it loosens up. That's because uh, it's cooked enough. That, look at there. It's not sticking to the bottom of the pan now. And I got a little bit of color on it. Looky there. It's all coming up. That's what you want. Just leave it. If it sticks, you just leave it until it starts to unstick itself. Kind of a silly way to put it, but I can't think of any other way. All right. So that while that's cooking, that's got to be completely. I turn it up a little bit. Completely cooked on the chicken. Always you can't you can't eat pink chicken. All right. So what I have here is two cups of frozen broccoli. That's probably close to two cups of carrots that I uh, gave a good thick julienne on. on. You see? That takes a little time too, but boy, it's pretty. I got two tablespoons of garlic here, minced garlic. And the reason why there's two tablespoons is because it came in a jar. It's not fresh. I didn't cut it myself. Uh, and it, it's not as flavorful as uh, if you cut your own garlic. Alright, so uh, there's two tablespoons of that. I'm not real happy with it. I don't think I'll buy uh, jarred garlic again. I had my onion. Two teaspoons of chicken bouillon granulated right here. Quarter cup of soy sauce. And in that quarter cup of soy sauce, I'm going to put probably about a teaspoon and a half of concentrated lemon juice. Give us a little citrus in there. Get this chicken to cook. I might just keep that heat up a little bit. There we are. I am hungry. And I've got some celery because I was out, but I do keep ends and pieces of celery that I can use in other things in the freezer. 
So I had previously had this in the freezer and I'm going to put it in because I'm all out of celery. I love cooked celery. And I've already cooked some rice noodles. These are called rice sticks. And there's, there's four uh, bunches in each bag of these. And I cooked two bunches right here so I'm ready to go. smells really good. When this starts to get to where it's almost done, I'm going to throw in the garlic. And I don't want to overcook the garlic, but we are getting the cook on here. That's, that's good. I might even, uh, I might even put a lid on that for a minute just to be sure. Did not eat pink chicken. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put grab a lid. Here I am with my lid. Put a lid on it. It's not as noisy. This is my favorite kind of olive oil. For flavor, this is it. It's, I don't think it's 100% olive oil. I think there's palm oil in it too. But it's really got super good flavor, and I don't know if that's because they put flavored stuff in it or not. I don't know. I just know it tastes good. Um, but is this 100% olive oil without any other oil additives? Nah, probably not. Yeah, but that's just a, a guess. I did research, though, on it, too, and, uh, and they pretty much said the same thing that I just said. It's just my opinion. I don't want you everything to say nowadays. You gotta lean over because I got this situated so you can see all the cooking stuff. Oh, I wish you could smell that. That's doing really what I want. Yeah. And that onion getting a little bit on it, a little bit of brown on it. That's what I want. Putting in the garlic now. Minced garlic going in. Close to two tablespoons on the, the store bought mince. I would probably do uh, four or five uh, cloves. And I've also got a tablespoon of fresh ginger shredded in, in, in there with the garlic. So that's a tablespoon of uh, shredded fresh ginger, too. I love ginger. Um, some people just don't care for it. You see my pan is getting some brown on it. That's good. I love fresh ginger, I do. I love it in tea. I, I, I love it in just pretty much everything you can put it in. Um, you know, you spice cookies and anything um, sweet. I love candied ginger. That really is helpful if you're having an upset stomach. And I do keep a bag of candied ginger around just for that. Um, and it really does help with an upset stomach. But I've actually never seen that in the stores. I've had to order it online. Oh, it's smelling so good. We got that garlic and that ginger and the onion and that chicken here. It's going to be done pretty quick. Smells wonderful. You just want to get that chicken done. Because those onions already got a little caramelized on them. I don't want to want to caramelize those too much because it, they'll be in the left room. Virtually you won't even find them in the food if you cook them too long. So, I don't want to do that. And these noodles, these rice noodles, absolutely love them. I prefer them over uh, any other kind of noodle. Um, these are uh, the rice noodles. See how nice and white they are, and they're wonderful. Now you can you can cook them. Uh, some people like them uh, el, el dente or al dente. Uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Either you like them squishy, or you like them uh, firm and kind of you know firm. But I like them squishy. So. But they still got a bite. You can still bite into them, even when they're squishy. 
Alright, I think I need a pot holder. Or no, maybe not. Alright, that chicken's done. Now I need to get that chicken out of there. See that pretty brown on the bottom of that bin? Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna make sure that chicken is done. I don't want I don't want a single piece of that chicken uncooked. Not a single piece. I might even take the biggest piece I can find out of there and test it. I don't want to overcook it because then you end up with uh do those onions are caramelizing. You'll end up with something that's very hard to chew. If you overcook your chicken, it'll be dry because this is white meat. I want to take it out, but I'm going to give it one more minute. One more minute. I'm going to get my veggie ready, and I might need some out, some more olive oil. I just might. We'll see. I'll turn that up. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. It really smells good. I'm worried I'm going to get that way too, too uh, dark. You see, my onions are really starting to go. All right, sizzling it out. Oh, that smells good. I can smell that ginger. Oh, it smells so good. I want that all up the bottom. Oh. That turned off because I took the pan off. All right, I start it again. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in there. Good tablespoon at least. Okay, at least. All right, now, I'm throwing in the celery. Throwing in the carrot. That's about two cups of carrot there. And I'm throwing in the 12 ounce package of uh, frozen broccoli. That's going in. All right. I'm gonna wait on these last two things. Clean up in the work area. A little bit of water from the top of my pan. Chicken looks good. Good chicken. I'm going to spend a few minutes. I'm going to put a lid on those vegetables and cook them just how I like them. Uh, and for me, uh, I, I like them soft. A lot of people like to crunch. I like to crunch too, but uh, it's a little harder for me to digest them, so um, I will cook them through. But they'll have the wonderful flavors. So I'm going to, uh, I'll, so I'll be right back. And uh, these will be cooked through, and then I'll add the, do the last steps. And... I'm going to eat, you can eat too if you were here, and I love it alone, so I'll be right back. Good morning, good morning. All right, I've got my vegetables cooked enough now, now I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce. And I did add half a cup of water to this, just right before it came back on here. So I got half a cup of water, quarter cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of my uh, granulated chicken bouillon. Alright, that's in there. I got this ready to go. I'm going to turn off my little induction top. And this is ready. To mix in. Mixing it in right now. Man, that looks good. My chicken and my noodles. I just, I could just eat this every day, seriously. It's just so it's nice and fresh tasting and wonderful. If you want to add a little bit more soy sauce um, to your own dish. I'm going to get this mixed up a little bit. 
and I'm going to add the finishing touch, which is pepper flake. Pepper flakes. Pepper flake. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I really like it. Just mix it up. Get some of the color on the noodle. Get a bit of sauce that I've got in there. Get it all mixed up with my using my favorite uh, chopsticks. I actually like eating with chopsticks. Kind of like eating with my nut needles. <laughs> Could so so make something with these. Just be knitting away. And there is pepper. Mm, 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 mm. That is gonna be so good. It smells fabulous. There you have it. It's time to eat. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make this. I think you'll really like it. Over now.